So you want to learn the Vindicator? Do you want to deal big damage and look good while doing it? Yeah, yeah. Do you want to drop from the sky, dishing out massive damage to those beneath you? Oh, yeah. And all while wielding a big-ass sword. Yeah! Well, look no further, my friend, for I have just the video for you. In order to truly master Vindicator, we must first go over the basics of what this spec has to offer. The Great Sword. It's the Vindicator's preferred weapon. It offers beefy auto attacks and great utility. Greatsword 2 is a frontal cone attack that applies chill and nice burst damage. Greatsword 3 is a mobility skill that covers a substantial distance and deals some pretty good damage if it connects with the target. Greatsword 4 is a block and counter attack, very useful especially in PvP. Greatsword 5 is just a big AoE explosion of just some mist that smothers your target in damage. Hold on, hold, hold on just a second. How do I know you're not just one of those YouTubers that trying to make me, maybe try, try, try to make me get this build and, and make me play bad so that when you see me in PvP, you can just farm me. How do I know you're not one of them spudsy? Well, first off, Tim, you're stupid. Next, why would I misguide my own viewers into playing something that I wouldn't even play? That, that, that makes zero sense, Timmy. One of the largest changes to come with this elite spec lies within its dodge mechanic. Vindicators only allowed one dodge. One powerful dodge. This dodge can be augmented in three different ways depending on how you build your Vindicator. Do you want to leap into the sky and slam back down dealing massive damage? Choose Death Drop. Energy Meld is your F2 key that allows you to straight up regain half of your endurance bar on a 30 second cooldown. This skill can be used in any legend stance. Having one dodge might seem like a terrible thing, but it's honestly what makes Vindicator so fun and unique to play. But when can I start doing big damage? Later, Timmy! I said later, keep watching the video! Vindicator also comes with its very own legend to invoke. Well, two legends. Saint Victor and your boy Archimorris. While in Alliance Stance, you are able to swap between the two in and out of combat by using your new F3 key. Archimorris, the red one, focuses more on damage and offense, while St. Victor, the blue one, prioritizes healing and condi cleansing. Between stun breaks, gap closers, and condition cleansing, Alliance Stance is favorable in PvP due to how versatile it is. Hey, now, now, now you're telling me that I gotta press more buttons to stay a 15 button? If you watch, stop interrupting, you'll actually learn something, Timmy! God! The traits is where I find Vindicator to be the most fun and interesting. You can choose between damaging and supporting traits. All these traits augment the core elements of Vindicator, such as your dodge and alliance dance, further adding to the multiple ways you can play Vindicator. The Adept Traits, that's the first row, vary on how you would like to play this spec. The Amnesty of Xing Jie further enhances Alliance Stance by adding more benefits and incentives to be swapping Legends and using their abilities. Don't like Alliance Stance? Run Leviathan Strength, gives you more passive damage. Our Master Trait line puts a focus on Endurance and Vigor, having one dodge is obviously a major downside, but due to this trait line you will have a few ways to make sure you always have it available. The Grandmaster trait line is where things get the most interesting. You are able to augment your dodge in three different ways, as mentioned previously. Forerunner of Death will make your dodge deal massive damage in a smaller area, as well as give you a 15% damage boost upon landing. Vassals of the Empire will make your dodge grant boons to yourself and allies, as well as inflict chill on your enemies. Upon landing, you will deal damage and even extend your allies' boons. Saint of Zuhelzer will augment your dodge to make it cover a larger area. Upon landing, you will heal allies instead of dealing damage as well as providing barrier. Outgoing healing is also increased upon landing. All three of these augments have their uses and I advise you to experiment with all of them. Okay, okay, we've gone over all the basics. Now it's time to answer the question, how do I play Vindicator? In PvP, you will be dodging important abilities while also buffing yourself up mid-fight. This makes for great turnarounds and can lead to some serious outplays. While you're waiting for your dodge to come back up, use abilities that can block or help you evade, such as Great Sword 4 or Sword 3. Kiting out damage while you wait for your dodge in Alliance Stance or Jalus will be crucial to winning fights as Vindicator. The consistent buffs you are able to receive just from dodging are overwhelming enough to push the fight into your favor, 
so long as you capitalize on them. The consistent damage along with burst and sustain are all things that make Vindicator such a monster in PvP. Well my friend, now that we've finally reached the end of this video, I'd say you're ready to become a Master Vindicator. If this video helped you, please show your support by leaving a like and subscribing. Alright, I'ma go and fight the Harbinger now. I I think I can take him after watching the guide. I, I'm, I'm gonna go do it. Oh, hey, hey, Timmy. Hey, Timmy, wait. I wasn't done with the... <laughs> you said I was gonna be good after this guy. Oh, Timmy, just shut the...